Dr. Lisa Goins with Gatour Healthcare. We're talking about labs today. And I have a lot of patients asking, Lisa, why do I need to get my lab work done? Well, unfortunately, I have really good eyesight, and even with my glasses that I wear occasionally, I cannot see what's in your red blood cell. It wasn't designed that way, so I need to have a stick put in you someplace and have some blood drawn out and collected, and then I need to put it into the playground for blood work. And it will tell me if you have too much white blood cells, too many red blood cells, um, are you anemic? Has your thyroid bothered you? Is that a problem? Or is your kidney functions wrong? Or maybe your liver, there's something wrong there. That's what your blood work tells me. Now, a lot of times uh, folks come in and they don't want to get the lab work done right away. There is a reason for that. If you come and see me in the afternoon, you've already had breakfast, you've already had lunch, been out and around, ran all your errands or whatever, and you've come to see me and uh, I want to get lab work on you. Well, unfortunately, I can't draw the blood work today because I would like to get a fasting level on you. When I ask for a fasting level, that means that the night before at midnight or tonight at midnight, if I order the lab work and I want you to have it done tomorrow, at night at midnight, you will stop eating and that's called nothing by mouth or NPO in medical terminology. That means that at midnight, you're not going to eat anything until you have your blood work done, and that's fasting. Now, that could be 8 hours to 12 hours later that you're not going to have anything to eat. Do talk with me or your provider when you're going to have lab work done. If you are a diabetic or you have other issues where you need to have medication on a regular basis, um, you may need to go ahead and take your medicine and take it with water. Now, if I'm testing for a particular medication, I will need to see your blood work as is. Now, as far as being a diabetic, your red blood cells last 120 days. The nice thing about that is it tells me 120 days ago, it's a, it's a story of your blood work, of how your sugar has been. Now, when they draw the blood, a lot of facilities and a lot of lab places will go ahead and see what your sugar is that day. That's fine. That day, it will tell me what your, your blood sugar was, and that's called a glucose. That's fine. That doesn't mean today's glucose is going to be the same. But the hemoglobin A1C is going to tell me what the, the glucose is for the last 120 days which um, my personal experience is my mother-in-law was diabetic and she would always try to say, oh, I've been good, I've been eating all right and everything. And when we did the hemoglobin A1C, not so much. She was having a good time eating on certain days and trying to be good on other days and it didn't equal out. So sometimes uh, other results would happen. Now, if this happens to you, what would I do as your provider or your provider would do? When your blood work comes back and I have you come in, we're going to talk about your blood work. Let's hope that when they hand me the envelope that uh, with all your information and everything on it that I have nothing but wonderful news. We don't have to do this again for another year. Excellent. Maybe two if you're really doing really well. You know, we'll just, this is a baseline. This tells me that when you, I do your blood work, that in January when we did it, everything was fine. And then heaven forbid you get sick in August and I do your blood work again. I take this piece of paper and this piece of paper and I put them together and I'm like, ooh, we got to do something. That's, that's kind of what the idea behind lab work is. Now, I always have lab work done at least uh, once a year for a baseline. Now, another reason this is important is if you have a thyroid problem, or you're diabetic, or we're watching your cholesterol, or you have poor kidney functions, I need to do lab work a lot more frequent, usually at least three months to six months uh, to check these levels. Now, with thyroid functions, the medication that I give you, um, if you come in later and say, Lisa, God, I feel like a slug. Oh, there's something wrong with my thyroid. Or, Lisa, oh my God, oh my God, my thyroid, I think we need to check it. You know, we probably do. 
Um, so the blood work will let me know um, this is what your level is, then I need to change your medication either way. Diabetic wise, I need to know is, is your hemoglobin A1C, is it creeping up? Because if it's creeping up, then I may need to give you more medication, um, increase your medication, maybe add a pill, change a pill, or maybe unfortunately it's the time that we need to start talking about insulin. Or if you're a diabetic one, and you have an insulin pump, maybe we need to adjust that or calibrate it or maybe even it's time to change the pump out itself for a different type of pump. So these are important reasons why when we need to do lab work, uh, you come in, we'll talk, we'll order lab work, um, may do it here at the facility or I may send you off site, it just depends and your provider may do the same thing wherever you're watching this video from. So please be compliant. Please follow up when they say come back in a week to a month and we'll talk over your lab work. Please show up for your visit. This is about you. It's not about me. It's about what is going on with you. And if you come back with a high cholesterol, we need to get you on something. If your uh, glucose is high and it relates to your hemoglobin A1C, maybe we need to adjust medication. And then there's the good news. Maybe we did really good with your thyroid medication and maybe we need to bring it down a little bit. Um, a lot of times people find out there's new medication on the market where instead of taking two pills, we can now take one pill and that saves you money. So please come in for your lab appointments. It's very important. And we will talk about it and maybe I will get the envelope, please. And I will be able to say, guess what? I don't need to see you for another year for lab work. Excellent. So keep eating right. Make sure you're following your appointments. Don't be afraid of us in the white coats. We don't bite. Please ask us questions. Um, if you go talk to Dr. Google, um, please come in for a second opinion um, just to make sure everything really is okay. And I'm Dr. Lisa Goins, nurse practitioner with Couture Healthcare. We're talking about why you should come in and get your lab work done. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, or go to the web channel and leave a comment or a question, and I will get back to you, maybe make a video talking to you. So thank you very much.